Hey guys, it's AK from here. Um, I thought I'd just do a quick video showing you the cable management that I have literally just finished. Um, I decided that it needed to be done because I never really did do a very, very good job at it. <laughs> um, back then I didn't really know 100% what I was doing. But, now, for those of you that don't know, this may look messy. For those of you that do cable management, you'll know right now that this is not messy. Um, that might look a bit messy, but it's actually not. It's very hard to keep this gap here, like without anything going directly across it. Um, but I have actually managed to do all the wiring very well. Um, try to use all the holes and bits and bobs to my best use. Um, the reason why this looks so clustered is because um, I had a Molex um, adapter which goes straight to the PSU and then it splits off into like three or four Molex pins. Um, but I'm only, I only need one of them and I haven't got a single one unfortunately. Um, so I just used that. And also, um, these cables for the, well, basically the power for the SATA, for the SATA ports are pretty hefty as well. And there's like three, I've got two different ones, one to power just the optical drive and the my terabyte hard drive. And then I've got another one to power the two um, OCZ SSDs. Um, and the reason you're probably thinking why do I need a Molex well the Molex adapter was for my fan controller at the front um, and yeah that was powered by Molex so that's why that's there um, I think everything looks pretty smooth um, if I just uh, turn this around for you one, I'm just going to put the uh, so as you can see here um, the light, oh, hold on, let me, uh, if I shut my blinds, and then turn the light on on this camera, I might have to see a bit better. Okay, as you can see here, um, just tuck that away a tiny bit, everything is pretty neat, considering, um, when I put the back plate on it will look a bit better, because you won't be able to see anything dangling but um, all my SATA cables run around there quite smoothly um, my 24 pin is here um, I actually used some uh, black electrical tape just to go around the coloured wires because it did my head in um, what do you want? what do you want? What do you want? No. Get out. Nuts? Get out. Yeah, you know. Anyway, um, so yeah, I've got all the cables sort of slide in. There's there's one hole here um, that they're all feeding through for the USB um, and a couple of the fan headers. Um, I've got all of my front panel stuff pretty neatly done, uh, tidy the way over there. Um, and I also did the same for this end as well, put some electrical tape around it. Um, I am going to order some braided cables, I think. Um, it's not that expensive. I'm only going to spend about 40, 50 pound max. Um, but or I could just get some more electrical tape and just put them around here, but obviously it doesn't look as good. Um, I've got a couple of bays missing here, I need to put those back in. Um, but apart from that, that is pretty much everything. Um, I've got all the dust out. There wasn't really that much dust to be fair, but um, I got it out. And now all that's left to do is just to, like I said, stick those couple of bays in. Um, stick the back panel on and uh, plug it all back in and then 
fire away. Um, I've overclocked this now to 4.8 gigahertz, um, which I'm using for the 24 hour use. Um, and that's 1.5 volts, uh, which is a, not too bad. I mean, um, Intel say that the, the new i7 processors max clock, you shouldn't really go past 1.5. Uh, one last thing just before you go, I am going to be buying another GTX 570 um, that goes alongside this one already. Now I can't actually get the N570 GTX, um, I can't get that exact model for some reason in the UK, it seems almost impossible. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get uh, another N570 GTX, um, but it's not going to be MSI, it's going to be, I cannot actually remember what the name of it is, but I'll leave a link in the description, um, because I want to run this SLI, um, I want to see, uh, yeah, I want to pump out the SLI. <laughs> um, also, you know, like I said before, the cable, um, braided cables, or you getting those, um, not for everything, just mainly the PSU stuff. Um, and the last thing I'm going to buy, I think, is off the top of my. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to get some um, LED lights, some red ones. Um, nothing too like glam. Just it's like a strip. Uh, it's really thin. They're not that expensive. They're about ten pound, I think. Um, and I'm gonna put a strip probably down here uh, that lights upward because um, I've got the red LED coming from that already um, we've also got the red LED fan here um, so I thought I would put one down here that which would then shine up and it would look awesome <laughs> um, so yes thanks for watching guys um, I hope you liked this video. If you did like it, then like it. <laughs> um, if you didn't, then don't, obviously. Um, and for those of you that are watching this for the first time and you've never heard of me, check out my channel. I've got some pretty cool videos that you may be interested in. Um, and just subscribe, because subscribe doesn't mean that you're giving me money. It means that any updated videos that I put on here, you'll be notified about. And you can keep a track of what's going on in the YouTube community, I guess. Uh, so, yes, I'll see you later.